What's up guys, we're gonna real beats and today I'm gonna be showing you guys why your melodies don't sound as sad as you want them to. That being said, let's go ahead and hop into it. Now I just wanna go over how you can control the emotion or at least set it up. Um, so most people think about like the chords and intervals and stuff as like emotions or they give off emotions. So a lot of people think, you know, the minor is sad. When yes, technically that's true, but really it's just tension. It's all tension, right? So there's just different levels of tension. Uh, because when you get caught up in this, oh, the minor is only a dark chord, right? And the diminished is only a dark chord. Um, you lose out on a lot of chord progressions you could potentially use and melodies, right? Okay. Um, so I'm just, I'm not going to go deep into that. But I'm just show you what I mean. Um, we could just pull out a few little chords here. I'm going to just kind of quickly do this. Um, so we have augmented, a major a suspended second and a minor. Right, some of these chords sounded bad. If it sounded bad, that means it has a lot of tension. If it sounded really good, the major, that means it has the least amount of tension. So what it actually is that makes something sad, happy, or whatever type of melody you wanna make is the combo of these tensions, right? Right, and these, right, are supposed to be dark chords, right? But they sound sad together, augmented to the minor. Um, another example, real quick, um, if we do something like this, two minors, and if we make this a minor and a major, and that would sound sad, right? So it's the combo of these. Um, so what I wanna do next is pretty much show you how to do this with an actual chord progression and then like put a melody on top. And I just wanna show you how to apply this to a melody or how it works with the melody. Uh, so we can use a major just to kind of get the point across. Um, let's do an F sharp major. So let's go in here and we're just gonna make a quick chord progression. I'm gonna try to go with, let's do something like generic. Let's do something like this. And then we're gonna make our chord. So this should, and then we got this. Um, now one quick way we can build a chord progression out of this, what we have right here is we could just pull over some of these notes and then you can add one of the notes from here or you can add this one. Well, they all kind of go together actually. So that works out. Boom, let's play it. Make sure everything's right. All right, so what I wanna get across is each, each chord has a root that it stems from, right? So this is called a, a B major because of the B, right? The root note here of the chord. Um, so everything that's applied, the tension and emotion or whatever you want to um, go about it is applied to this singular note as well, right? So just that root note. So if you take the bottom notes or root notes of these chords, you can kind of build a melody out of it. And this is why when you pull stuff up an octave, I'm just pull these over. This is why it still works when you pull things up an octave and whatnot, right? And this, and obviously you still want to use your ear, but this is just a way to get a certain type of sound. And if you want to like grab something from this, you could pull that up, right? Um, just to keep it real simple, I'm gonna just, this. Okay, just an example. So what I wanna do, we can just use this chord progression, just not to waste time. And then we can kind of use these notes to build out almost a little sad melody. So here's our guitar. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with this melody. We're gonna use the chord progression just to save time. I'm gonna pull this down an octave. Um, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of use these same notes. So I'm gonna pull this up and you can use these across however you like. So I'm gonna just keep it basic and I'm gonna just kind of like strum these across one another. Um, we can use this A sharp too if we need to. I'm gonna copy it up twice. Make sure I can center this so you can see it. I'm gonna pull this on this side so it's not, I just want it to be a little empty. Let's copy this and we're just gonna offset it because we started on the grid here. So we start off the grid over here 
and then I'm gonna adjust it so it's kind of following the same rules. And on the grid, off the grid gives you like a nice rhythm. All right, that's sounding pretty good. So we can kind of keep this going. Um, let's over here, let's delete this, these middle notes, and let's drag this over. This should... All right, so when you're going from one note back to the same note, it sounds pretty good with guitars at least. Um, so I don't think I'm gonna keep this, but I'm gonna pull this over so that this is playing. And then let's pull this up an octave. And let's drag some of these other notes in just so it's kind of consistent. Um, you can see I'm just pulling stuff up an octave, right? It's not anything crazy. Um, and I'm gonna make chord up. make a chord downward and then obviously you don't have to follow what I'm doing exactly okay I think that's good okay now no matter what you do if you follow what we did previously right so if you started with the chords and you pull things up It'll sound good, it's just what you think sounds good, right? So you gotta mold it to what you like. All right, and that's our melody. So what I'm gonna do now is we can add a little variation. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Next, I just wanna talk about some variation you can do with a guitar. Um, so one simple thing, we'll take the bass line and you can just take some parts from what you already have. Um, so we can take like this, let's copy it over. And then maybe we could take like the end of this here. Now you wanna keep it consistent though. Um, so like on this half, if you look over here, you gotta kinda look where some of the notes are. So I see C right here instead of this A. So I will move this up to C. And then you can kinda stretch these out a bit, All right? All right, so there's just one thing you can do. So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna talk about some effects you can throw on. It's gonna be real brief, but just something um, to make it sound a little bit better uh, guitar wise. Now I just wanna talk about some of the post effects real quick. So I copied our melody to a second guitar. Um, this is just for depth and I didn't want it to be the same exact sound. So I'm using a different um, guitar here just so they don't overlap. It's not, cause obviously you don't wanna use the same exact guitar here. You wanna use something with a different timbre. Right, and then what I did here in the mixer is um, something I like to do is I put the guitar obviously in its own channel and then I route that guitar to a separate channel, an empty channel usually. Um, that's why I have it named strings. Um, and then I pull up the, the EQ, the high frequency EQ, right? Um, just to bring out the strings, the string noise in the guitar. So I'll show you an extreme and then I'll just, I'll just kind of leave all this blank. And I probably could push it more, but I'm just leave it like that. Um, and then I just pan these obviously to the left because we have two guitars. Um, and I pretty much did the same thing on over here. So I'm not gonna repeat all that. Um, and then I added a delay to increase that sharpness or like, so it's more of these little frequencies here. Um, and then I separated it a bit to widen it. As you can see, um, so now for our main guitar, just an EQ, just high end EQ, cut some of the bases out. And then we have thermal, um, and this is just effects you can use. So just like, this is kind of like delay and then like the lo-fi effect. And I didn't put it too strongly because I don't want people to think that you have to get this, this uh, VST. Um, but yeah, just kind of added some character to it and then just delay, just simple delay. And then for our main guitar, um, to add to that sadness, I wanted went with a detuned effect, um, but this is why I went with two guitars because this isn't our main guitar. So we can still get that effect without affecting kind of the overall sound. 
um, and pretty much you just use this wow and flutter this is the preset i'm using you can kind of copy it if you need um, and then took out some of the bass same thing over here And that's gonna be it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.